everyone, Shill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And before we get started, I've got some really exciting news. 5-day deal is just around the corner and we're giving away over $10,000 in film gear and collaborate with some of the biggest filmmakers to throw an insane discount on our products. Now get notified for this unique event by visiting the link in the description down below. Have you seen Love, Death and the Robots yet? It's a trending animated series on Netflix that's super nice. And they have a super cool intro animation, so let's try and recreate that in Premiere Pro. First up, we need some icons. And you can download these from the internet like we did from Flat Icon, then adjust them to your likings in Adobe Illustrator or you can create these yourself in any type of software. I recommend Illustrator, but you can even do it in Premiere Pro itself with the Essential Graphics panel. Now once you've got your icons, fire up Premiere and import them into your project. Now for this project, we're going to need two sequences. So let's hit Ctrl N or go to File and hit New Sequence. The first one is our regular main sequence that we want to edit in. This can be a 4K or an HD sequence. The second one is a vertical sequence. So go over to the settings, set it to custom and make the width 1080 and the height 1920 pixels long. Now we'll open up the vertical sequence and in this, we're going to place all of our icons underneath each other. Now make sure that the top and bottom icons are the exact same ones. Then drag your vertical sequence into your main sequence. Reposition the icons so that the bottom icon is right in the middle of the sequence. Let's animate this now. We're gonna let it stand still for a few moments and then we're going to make a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch icon. Then go a second further in time and let the icons go down until the upper icon is right in the middle of the screen. And then make a cut. Now quick tip, if you have problems finding the middle of the screen, then you can use the rulers and guides from the program monitor to line out the beginning icon. Just make sure the last icon is lined out with the rulers again and voila, it's exactly on the same spot. Now select the position property and copy it. Paste it on the second part of the clip, so behind the cut. Now make sure to place the first keyframe in the beginning of this clip. Just select it and drag it all the way to the beginning. You can also extend the clip a bit so it lingers on after the animation. Now go back to the first clip and right click on the first keyframe. Set it to ease out. Then pull the lever completely to the right. And select the second clip, right click on the last keyframe and set it to ease in. Now make sure to drag the lever all the way to the left. Now the keyframes in the middle need to be linear and this will cause the effect to start slowly, then go fast in the middle and end slowly again. Now select all your clips and nest them by right clicking and selecting nest. On the nested sequence add the track mat key effect and set the mat to video 4 and the composite to mat alpha. On track number 4 place a color mat and this color mat will be used on our track mat layer so make sure that it has a white color. Now we're only going to need a small portion of this color mat so go over to the effects panel and look for the crop effect and drag it onto the color mat and set the top and bottom values so that it is just right above and below your icon. If you then play this through, it will already look like this. Super cool. But we want to really replicate the love, death and robots intro. So we're going to place our heart icon left of our animation and do the exact same thing for the second animation row. So you can go over to the project panels and duplicate the vertical sequence. Then rearrange the icon within that sequence and do all of the steps we did before. Once done, it will look like this. Now to finalize everything, we can use some glitch transitions like the VR digital glitch effect or we can use the glitch pack from our website, which I'll drop a link to in the description down below. Now, if you're interested in more assets, presets or transitions, then definitely have a look at our video packs on our website. You can simply import these presets and drag and drop them either onto the layer itself or on an adjustment layer. Now, you can also make some super simple basic shape animations like these, for example. Play with it however you want, add some titles, some basic background assets like these crosses, Customize it however you want, but make it creative. There's a link in the description below with a template of the entire project. So definitely go over to the description and check that out. And if you want us to recreate more content like this, then drop your suggestions in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next week. And as always, stay creative.